Well, we have some interesting news to get through right now. So welcome back to Views with Hughes, your Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification, so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So coming in from New York Post, we're seeing now that Disney finance chief, um, Kristen McCarthy, she clashed with, apparently she clashed with CEO Bob Iger and other top executives before stepping down, according to rumors and a report. Okay, so it says here that Walt Disney Chief Financial Officer Christine McCarthy reportedly clashed with CEO Bob Iger and other top executives before her resignation on Thursday. It says here the, a person close to McCarthy told, you know, the Wall Street Journal, being reported by the New York Post, that her sudden exit was surprising because there was no dramatic changes in her life recently that would require her to bow out. I knew I knew there was something else to this. You know, I knew there was something else to this. But let's go ahead and move further. Before her now, before we move further, I want to let y'all know that it was her that wanted to be like, okay, I reported before that Bob Iger wanted there to be cuts, okay? There to continue um cuts under Bob Chapek. Christy McCarthy wanted to further those cuts. She wanted to go much further than what Bob Iger wanted to, okay? So it says here, before her departure, a source told the outlet that McCarthy butted heads with Iger and other top executives over strategies, specifically the amount of money this spends on content and a recent restructuring that she felt didn't do enough to streamline the company, okay? So the restructuring reportedly had to do with Disney Entertainment, which McCarthy wanted to consolidate to further improve profit margins and model netflix's structure so yeah in other words she wants to go ahead and be like the competition and try to beat out the competition but bob Iger didn't want that now her opinions clash with that with uh, the excuse me the unit's top leadership team a person familiar with the matter told the um newspaper all right so it's also best to know where note that you know it wasn't clear when the skirmish take place took place so the post reached out to disney for comment of course now when mccarthy announced thursday she was leaving her post as disney chief's financial officer she um cited the need to take family medical leave but i don't believe that like I, i'll be honest with y'all i don't believe that it's, it's got to be something bigger than that because like the source or uh, the person the source who reported this to wall street journal said it was a sudden um change that no other changes might have take place that would lead to this you know so what is this what's actually happening behind the scenes that's what i want to know too okay but other than that this is pretty interesting because even i've questioned the whole thing like could it be what well, also the same thing that karen pasha might have mentioned could it be related to the um the big financial hole that's right there that might be related to ftx that disney probably would have invested into i don't know but it's possible i'm waiting for the truth to come out so it says here that when um she announced that she um was resigning, she cited the need to take uh, family medical leave to care for her husband, who has been in healthcare facility since early this year. The news came as a shot to some colleagues and associates. The journal reported since the 67-year-old finance chief, who was given an 11 billion dollar contract a few years ago, might I add, was an ally to the Iger when who only reclaimed the CEO throne in November. So here's the interesting thing: she was also responsible for having to vote uh, um making a vote of confidence with the board to get bob chapek out the previous ceo okay so now she she even stated over an investor call that she was so happy to have bob Iker back was that just for the um sacred investors was that for the sake of cameras was that for the sake of you know the the the, the media that could, could get a hold of it or could it be fake that she didn't have any confidence in bob Iker again you know i don't know i'm just speculating at this point so it says here that McCarthy has been regarded as a pivotal um, as pivotal and I can stepping back into the head honcho spot after one year retirement. McCarthy uh, has said she lacked confidence in Iger's predecessor, Bob Chapek. I just mentioned that, but let's go further. Her comments set Chapek's ouster in motion. By the end of March, he was out and Bob, Bob Iger was back in. But the thing is, um, on Thursday, I could call Car um, McCarthy one of the most in my financial executives in America. Christina served a key, as a key strategic anchor during a period of great transformation, he added. Now, her replacement, Kevin Lenz Onberry, who is the current um, chief executive, um, vice president and CFO of Disney Parks, experiences and products will step in as interim finance boss on July 1st. All of this is interesting when the numbers and the parks are down. All of this is interesting when merchandising and the films and all of that are down at Disney. This is interesting when disney is actually down 
you know but it's 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 also at the same time crazy because it's not surprising that we have like a company under Bob Iger being going into ruins and we have somebody who stepped down that was also a, contri- a, contrib- excuse me, a contributor to all this mess that we have now. All right. But the thing is, um, she may be stepping down, but she said that, you know, she was quoted saying she was, you know, going to be ruined for the um, company from behind the scenes. But the thing is, McCarthy clashed with um, Bob Iger and other top executives, like I mentioned before. Okay, based on how you know, the, the amount of money Disney spends on the content and the recent restructuring that she felt didn't go far enough to streamline the company. Okay, so basically, Bob Iger, like I said, then like has a set amount of money to um, that he wanted to save or spend. She wanted to go a bit further. You know, I'm pretty sure that might have been what they might have been. You know, um, trying to crash about. She was also noted um noted to. Be like the one who was not afraid to clash with her bosses if she felt that the move was bad. It was a bad move was being made. If people knew that, um, know her said like a familiar, a familiar figure to Wall Street, you know, and she's yeah, she's a familiar figure to Wall Street, where um she delivered um financial results for Disney to analysts for decades, and like a robotic voice that believed her um bellied her belied her sharp tongue. I mean. With quick wig and strong opinions, okay? So her departure comes at a time where Disney is like, you know, like a rivals in the entertainment industry is basically struggling with how to best transition transition to a streaming first business model. You know, in other words, she's trying to go ahead and put Disney Plus to the forefront. Okay? While Disney's um their while their theme parks are actually well, mm, some people are actually saying that it's performing well, but they're not performing well. We know the truth to that. But there's other core businesses like cable networks, like ESPN and ABC. They're facing strong like problems because of the cable cord cutting and weak advertising market. All because of the fact that the people are tired of the whoop mess that they're putting out there. Plain and simple. You know? But she did, um, like I said, played a huge role in taking Bob Iger out. And she also was responsible for the firing of Peter Rice, you know? Now it was also it's also safe to note that these executives always do these things where they gotta force somebody out and everything, and then they announce that you know where the person just resigned, left, departed willingly. No, they fired them. But in this case, they actually admitted that they fired Peter Rice. Okay. Now she always uh, questioned Rice's management style as well as some of his financial decisions that he made that persuaded um Chapek to replace him. Okay. But McCarthy also felt that, you know, the Disney executives and directors should also be required to own a significant amount of stock to make them more conscious of shareholder concerns. OK, but this is pretty interesting because of the fact that, you know, all of this is happening at a pitiful time. So, yeah, what do you make of all of this? You know, what do you think about this? What do you think is the next move? Because. Even though now I'm speculating, of course, that with her being out, I'm thinking that this may be a um like a good way of Bob Iger trying to keep his job because there's no one else in his um in to take his place as CEO. You know, it usually would have been a CFO, but they only have an interim CFO, if you will. Okay, I'm not really familiar with the 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 business world as well, but other than that, this is pretty interesting. So let me know your thoughts about this comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, if you have any additional thoughts to provide for this particular matter go ahead and leave them in the comments below also if you enjoyed that shared the video and spoke about the video go ahead and smash the like button and share it far wide across social media and if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content about there go ahead and subscribe to the channel click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates until then peace